What's up, Subi friends? Welcome back to another video. You know what we're doing today? I'll give you a hint. Not that yet. I'm gonna get to it. Yep, I'm gonna get to it. But right now, we are going to Cartboy Short Shifter, because I already got the bushing installed. Cartboy sticker. Some zip ties. Subaru! Ready to go. The Subaru. That's not even in focus. <clears throat> it's a very exciting time. We got a lot to do. We gotta get to it. You're good. I'm also using a wireless mic, so if it sounds like I'm breathing too hard, well. It's because I am. All right, this is your first time taking your console apart. Hey, we're in the same boat. Full transparency, I'm also watching a video on the Cart Boy channel that shows you how to do this step by step. But for right now, I'm just taking out these two 10 millimeter bolts. And then I gotta find some more. Now to remove this shift boot, which is hiding a single Phillips head screw that holds on the center console. Anytime now. Oh, move that screw. There's the screw. You gotta go. Is there another screw? Is there another screw? Did you see that? Next, all we have to do is break loose the shift boot section. Unscrew the shift knob, lift the boot right up, disconnect the STI wire, unscrew the two plastic flathead screws, and you're done. Explain something. So right here, this is the reverse lockout, and right there is a pen. What you need to do is go underneath of the car, set an Allen key inside the hole where the reverse lockout cable is. That way this cable does not go sliding down and getting lost, and it'll save you a lot of time later on. If that makes sense? I'm going to insert a clip right here. So yeah, do that. Now, next up what we want to do is get a punch and pop this little thing out. But be careful not to lose this pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay a towel down. That way it catches it in case it goes flying out or something weird. Even though I'm not going to reuse this pin or the reverse lockout column, I put the towel down so that I don't lose the pin while I'm hammering it out. the cable got our C clip out aka snap ring and I believe now we just pull up all right out we go look at that I just made you my bitch see how there's one o-ring supposed to be one right here which is right here and we need that now I'm gonna take all of this over to the bench and then we are gonna transfer all of this junk to the new Cartboy short shifter. We're also gonna change batteries because everything is dying at the same time. See you in a bit. All right, now that we're back over to the bench, look at the difference in them. These rubber, at least they use some polyurethane for once on the car, but you can see the shifter difference. I think this is gonna be a really interest. It's short actually, hold up. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. See the length of it? What? Compared to up here. It's like, psh. oh yeah. 
super excited to drive now. All you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver for these two screws. Remove everything from the old shifter and transfer it to the new cartboard shifter. This new addition, this by Racing, is our new reverse lockout lever. So you pull it up, it just looks good, feels good, and damn, just damn. Also, instead of it having that pin that we have to knock out, it has this Allen key. So you just unscrew it and just slides right out. All right, we're done with this. Let's head back to the car. All right, we got everything greased up and ready to go. We used to do everything we just did. In reverse. So, first step, try not to put this on backwards. done inside the car. I gotta say that was pretty simple. I mean it took about an hour to do. Um, all we gotta do now is just go underneath for the car. Remove that Allen key that we left under the side of the reverse lockout cable. We take it for the test drive. On the fence about doing it just do it so right now we're just on the way to work job number three I know right but hey it's on our way to work don't get off until midnight all weekend very fun times so current updates for this car with plans that are already in progress. Front bezels, the lights, definitely, definite. Can't wait to do that one. Um, and the exhaust for sure, the shift knob, and that's it for right now. In a few weeks, definitely gonna do the, what is it? The cylinder four mod. I mean, having those quick jacks makes everything so much easier, though. Come on, car. Why is this slow? But yeah, having those quick jacks just makes life a little bit easier. I just need to find a good spot to store them. Big and heavy. Ah. You know, we just want to punch it, but you can't because some guy in a Honda Pilot just put the along in front of you. Yep. That's me right now. Can't do shit. But, anyways, this drive is very boring, just freeway. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so five minutes. No, take that back. Sorry. 15 minutes before you gotta clock in. And we're about 10 minutes away. Luckily, this place, you don't have to work very hard. 
Even though I'm super tired and slightly have a headache. You didn't see that. Yeah, I like that shifter. But what we don't like, all this freaking traffic. Sounds race car like. Super cool. As soon as we get the exhaust on next week, it's mm, gonna sound interesting. That's enough recording for today. I say peace out. See you guys soon. We're actually in about eight hours. Peace out.